Hey folks, welcome to Discover. In Godzilla Singular Point, we got to see three different kinds of Rodin. In this video, we will explain all three different kinds of Rodin, including their strengths, abilities, and weaknesses. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. First form. A single Rodin appeared flying in the Chiba Prefecture during the Summer Monster Festival. Perching on a billboard until it collapsed under the kaiju's weight, the rodent fell to the ground, landing nearby several fleeting humans as it got up. This is the first form. This incarnation of Rodin has a physique closely resembling a real pterosaur, sporting a large head and walking on its wings. The juvenile rodent's beak is long and curves upwards towards the tip, and its inside is completely covered in teeth, which can be seen on the upper beak even when the mouth is fully closed. In between the top and bottom of the upper beak is the row of uniform blue scales, starting a quarter of the way from the tip and ending at the eye. On the back of its head is a singular pteranodon-like crest, covered in a yellow and white pattern which runs along its back to the end of its long tail. Along Rodin's long neck is a blue dewlap, where the color spreads along the bottom jaw and lower beak. On its forehead, back, and tail are blue fins, with blood veins running up each one. Along its chest are rows of spikes which come to an end along its stomach. Rodin is mainly light red, with the previously mentioned blue highlights and white and yellow back patterning. Second form. Adult rodents are brown, with the back patterning becoming mainly white and blue highlights being dark red. The beaks on these rodents are straight, with similar but unexposed teeth. The keratin of the head envelopes most of the head, only stopping at the back of the head and beginning of the neck. The scales leading up to the eye start three quarters up the beak. These rodents lack fins on their heads. Instead, they have a crest that starts on the head and ends in the traditional double crests. Third form. In the anime's 10th episode, as Godzilla Terrestris continues its rampage through Tokyo, a larger shadow like Rodin emerges from the buildings and charges at the kaiju, only for Godzilla to kill it with a concentrated mouth beam. Despite resembling the second form, its body has a loftier build and a pitch black monochrome coloration, with the blotches much dimmer and patterned with the bright speckles or flints, additionally emitting a smoke-like substance around itself. The narrow cavity on its face is now pale gray. Additionally, it is seen generating what appears to be heat from its mouth. Physical Capabilities In their juvenile form, Rodin were strong enough to tear off Jet Jaguar's arms and throw him around. Adult Rodin can crash vehicles and, in swarms, easily dispatched Harvey. Durability While not as durable as an average kaiju, the juvenile rodent was left completely uninjured after both its fighting jet jaguar and being slammed into by Goro's truck. Flight Although slower than previous incarnations, the rodents are capable of flight and can also hover in the air for extended periods of time. Radio Wave Emission The rodents passively emit radio waves from their bodies. Swarming. The rodents travel in large groups and will swarm any attacker they find. This was shown when Harvey tried to subdue a rodent only to get jumped and dispatched by the others, and when they were chasing Yoon and Jet Jaguar through Tokyo. Weaknesses. Unlike other kaiju, rodent are susceptible to conventional weapons. They were shown being killed by machine gun fire and Jet Jaguar's spear easily cut through them. The rodents are also dependent on the red dust to survive and will die if they stay without it for too long. Personality The initial appearance of Rodin was shown to be incautious and fickle about its environment. The first rodent that perched on top of a billboard was content while watching the town, but fell due to collapsing on its own weight. It has shown an inquisitive side, as it momentarily examined Yoon without lunging at him and played with a severed head of Jet Jaguar after fighting it. Although, Rodin immediately lost interest and changed focus when the item doesn't move or react. In spite of this, when it detects things that move or make sounds, Rodin will target the source, such the case when Jet Jaguar riled it to fighting and when the Rodin actively attacked vehicles and civilians that were producing loud noises. The second type of Rodin is more direct and territorial as they attacked any human that came in their path while releasing hostile screeches. 
In greater numbers, rodents are focused on direction, following tight flocking patterns to coordinate a mass flock toward their targeted destination. This closed-minded drive also assists them in forming swarms for deadly attacks. However, they are shown to have a passionate attraction to noise and radio waves and are bewitched to follow it. The rodents have an undefined relationship with Godzilla, where the monster seemingly tolerates their presence while the rodent are flying next to it. The third type of rodent, however, seem to have a more aggressive behavior compared to the other two types and is willing to go as far as attacking Godzilla before it was shot down and was killed in the process. Well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content.